The depolarization stimulus spreads through the ventricles in different direction from instant to instant. The term MinQRS axis describes the general direction of ventricle depolarization in frontal plane of the body. Because the mean QRS axis is being defined in frontal plane of the body, we will use only six extremity leads, which are pointed in frontal plane. If the direction of mean QRS axis is parallel and oriented to positive pole of lead, in this case on ECG the projection of this QRS make maximal R wave in this lead. If the direction of mean QRS axis is parallel and oriented to negative pole of lead, in this case on ACG the projection of this QRS make maximal S wave in this lead. So if the mean QRS axis is oriented at right angle to any lead, a biphasic complex is recorded in that lead. The special orientation of the six extremity leads form the hexaxial diagram. We add the degree scale to hexaxial diagram for describing the mean QRS axis. The positive pole of first standard lead is zero point. All points below the lead one are positive. And all points above the first lead are negative. There are two general rules for mean QRS axis calculation. The first is, the maximal R wave in limb leads determines the mean QRS axis. The mean QRS axis points midway between any two leads that show tall R waves of equal height. The second is, the mean QRS axis is oriented at the right angle to any lead shown by phasic complex. In this situation, the mean QRS axis points the direction of leads showing tall R waves. The mean QRS axis is a basic measurement that should be made on every ACG. In the ACGs of most normal people, this axis lies between minus 30 and plus 100 degree. When the heart is electrically horizontal, the QRS voltages are directed toward leads 1 and AVL. Consequently, a tall R wave usually as part of QR complex is seen in these leads. An axis of minus 30 or more negative is described as a left axis deviation. When the heart is electrically vertical, the QRS voltages are directed toward to leads 2, 3 and AVF. This produces a relatively tall R wave usually as part of QR complex in these leads. An axis of plus 100 or more positive is termed right axis deviation. In other words, left axis deviation is an abnormal extension of mean QRS axis found in person with an electrically horizontal heart. And right axis deviation is an abnormal extension of mean QRS axis in person with an electrically vertical heart. The mean QRS axis is determined by anatomic position of the heart. When the person breathes in, the diaphragm distends and the heart becomes more vertical in chest cavity. This change generally shifts the QRS electrical axis vertically. When the person breathes out, the diaphragm ascends. And heart assumes a more horizontal position in the chest. This generally shifts the QRS electrical axis horizontally. Nevertheless, recognition of right axis deviation or left axis deviation often provides supportive evidence of left or right ventricular conduction disturbance. Let's try. In this ECG, the maximal R is located in second standard lead. The most similar to biphasic QRS is QRS in AVL.
In hexaxial diagram, positive pole of second standard lead is equal 60 degree. AVL in hexaxial diagram is minus 30 degree, which is accurately at right angle to our mean QRS axis. So mean QRS axis is plus 60. Here we go!